guys, it's Olga here. Guess what today is? Today is my channel's birthday. It turns one year old. So technically it's our birthday together, yours and mine. And I was thinking what would be a great way to celebrate it? Well, of course, by making a delicious cake. And you guys know me, I had to make it a healthy cake as well. So this cake is gluten-free and vegan. It has no flour of any kind, no dairy, no eggs, no brown or white sugar. So you might be thinking, well, what does it have? Well, you have to keep on watching to find out. Let's get started. We're going to start by preparing chocolate ganache. Since it takes quite a while to set, for it we're going to need 200 grams of vegan dark chocolate, preferably with 70 or 85% of coca solids. I'm using 85%, so just break it in little pieces like this. We will also need 200 milliliters of coconut milk, 3 tablespoons of agave nectar, and a pinch of salt. Pour your coconut milk into a small pot and warm over a gentle heat, stirring occasionally. Then take a medium pot and fill half of it with water. Bring water to a simmer and place the chocolate on top to melt. Don't forget to stir the chocolate to prevent it from burning. Remove from the heat and carefully add warm coconut milk to the chocolate. Add a pinch of salt and agave nectar and mix it all together. Now give your chocolate ganache a try and adjust the sweetness if needed by adding more agave nectar. We're going to let it set at room temperature for about 2 hours. Now let's move on to the cake. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Grab two baking pans, my pans are 8 inches, and grease them. You can use baking spray or just a teeny amount of coconut oil like I did. Cut two circles of parchment paper and line the bottom of the pans. The base for our chocolate cake is going to be, surprise surprise, quinoa. We're going to need about two-thirds of a cup. Go ahead and prepare quinoa the usual way. I've put the link for my video of how to make quinoa in the description box. The only thing that you're going to do differently is, after simmering quinoa for 10 minutes, turn off the heat and let it stand covered on the burner for another 10 minutes instead of 4. This will give quinoa fluffier texture. Uncover the pot and fluff quinoa with a fork, as usual, and let it cool completely. Meanwhile, take out your blender or food processor and combine a third of a cup of almond milk, one and a third of a cup of applesauce, one teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of agave nectar. Blend for a few seconds. Then add your quinoa, which should be completely cool by now, and three quarter of a cup of melted coconut oil. Blend everything until you get a smooth texture like this. Now you're probably thinking, Olga, this looks nothing like the batter for a chocolate cake. Well, you just wait a minute. Grab a large bowl and combine 3 quarter of a cup of coconut palm sugar, 1 cup of coca powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Add the quinoa mixture and stir. How does it look now? Divide the batter evenly between the two pans. And bake in the center of the oven for about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. After an hour, check if the cake is ready by poking it with a knife or a toothpick. If it comes out clean, your cake is done. Take out the pans. We're going to let the cake cool completely in the pans. Meanwhile, take 400 grams of strawberries, I already washed, dried and hulled them. Thinly slice the strawberries lengthwise, like this. Eat a couple of strawberries while you're doing this, because they are awesome. Now grab a plate that you're going to use for the cake. Place the first layer on the plate. You want to invert it so that the surface is flat. Spread a third of the ganache that we've prepared on the first layer. Cover with strawberries. You don't really need to make it look pretty since no one will see them. Just make sure to spread the strawberries evenly so that we can easily place the second cake layer on them. Doesn't it look good already? Put the second layer on top of the strawberries. Cover the top and the sides of the cake with the rest of the ganache. Now that you're done, you can place the rest of the strawberries on top of the cake. 
Start by placing a ring of strawberries with their points facing out. Continue layering rings of strawberries around the cake, overlapping each layer until you reach the center. Ta-da! Our beautiful chocolate cake is done. Since it's a birthday cake, we gotta make a wish. Alright, let's cut a slice and give it a try. Mmm, chocolate. Mm, so good. So good, guys. I love it. I'm probably gonna end up having a second piece. Don't tell anyone. Thank you so much for watching. Happy birthday to us again. And here is to many, many more birthdays to come. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends. And subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any of my future recipes. I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched and commented on my last video where I did a 50 random facts about me tag. You guys are seriously, seriously amazing. And I did not expect to hear so many nice things. And a lot of you actually shared some things about yourself and I'm so happy that you did it because this makes this more real for me most of the time all I get to know about you is your username and that's kind of sucky so I'm so happy I did this and you guys actually enjoyed it I am sending each and one of you a hug and a kiss and I will see you in my next video bye Yummy chocolate in my tummy. So you don't miss any. You don't miss. You don't miss me. Mmm. <laughs>